Hi, uh, my name is Gerald Schell. I'm a neurosurgeon at Saginaw Valley Neurosurgery. A cerebral aneurysm is a, a problem with the blood vessel in the brain. It's a, an area at the branch point of a blood vessel where the wall is very thin. Uh, when there's a thin wall, if the blood pressure were to go high, the uh, uh, blood can burst through the wall into the substance of the brain, creating severe headaches, paralysis, and death. Normally, if the bleeding were to occur through that wall, more than three to five seconds, a person would, would die from that. So it's a very serious medical condition. If an aneurysm has been detected as a cause of a headache or symptom or in the evaluation of some other uh, medical problem, uh, the uh, operative procedure would help prevent the possibility of sudden death from bursting of one of these blood vessels. In order to define whether or not you have an aneurysm which will be needed to be treated, there will be a studies done which could be a arteriogram, which is a form of catheterization, or a CT angiogram. This diagnostic study will define the anatomy of the aneurysm to determine whether a coiling procedure can be done on the aneurysm which would be done through a catheter in the groin and not require major surgery, or, or if the problem needs to be treated with an open craniotomy, which would require an incision through the scalp with removal of the bone in order to dissect down and put a clip or clamp across the neck of this uh, abnormal blood vessel. With the coiling procedure to treat the aneurysm, the recovery is instant. Um, there usually is a uh, pressure uh, pad placed on the groin uh, for about six hours, after which a person can get up and ambulate. We usually will keep you overnight in the hospital just to make sure everything has gone well and discharge the next day and probably return to work within a few days to a week. With an open craniotomy, uh, that would require major surgery which would uh, create a um, situation where a hospitalization could be anywhere between three and five days. Um, the recovery could be uh, four to six weeks with the tissue healing uh, uh, and uh, probably a month to six weeks before driving and return to work. If you think you need this procedure, set up an appointment with your primary doctor who can refer you to Saginaw Valley Neurosurgery using this website. If you have any more questions about your procedure, you can click on contact button just above me to the right where you can write an email to our staff or call us at the number listed. Thank you and we look forward to taking care of you here at Saginaw Valley Neurosurgery.